Welcome back. I'm in the nether. Well, specifically, I'm on the nether roof. To go out through my little trapdoor arrangement. Because I have been aging some copper. I found that this is a very pleasant way to do it. Everything's very flat, it's very easy to put it down and pick it back up again. And you can just go AFK here for as long as you need to get a load of copper. And I have a feeling I will be needing copper today for the water towers. So I'm going to pick this up and be back with you in a minute. There we are. I've got everything that was done for now. I will come back for the rest of it another day. I'll probably end up putting more up here. I think this was three and a half stacks of full copper blocks. So when it's cut down on a uh, stone cutter, this should be, what, 12? 12 stacks of copper. So that's very nice. On we go. I'm going to put all of this in a shulker box for now and I will add to that as and when I come to build the tower. From up here on the watchtower, I can now decide where I'm going to put some towers. We mentioned last week about building some giant water towers that have target blocks that release water when they are struck with an arrow. So that hopefully we can keep the... there it is. We can keep the burrowing worm away because it is sneaking closer. It is getting more bold. I don't trust it to just go back to sleep anymore. So we'd like to put some water towers around here. And I'm thinking, hmm, because they're quite tall. The design I've got is quite tall because I need it to be tall so that it sort of like splashes down and spreads in an emergency. I think one kind of around here somewhere would be quite nice, but I do need to clear the river. I'm thinking one about there. That might be quite nice. It will fit into that kind of curve of the mountains quite nicely as well. It won't stand out too much in, you know, like in the middle of a forest. It will instead be tucked against the wall a bit. I think I'd like three to begin with. I might end up adding more. I don't want to do too much building around the Deep Light Serpent because I don't want to spook it. I don't want to scare it off. It's doing a far better job of keeping the burrowing worm away than a tower full of water will. The river around here is quite wide, so I don't think we need one around here too much. I also don't want to put one around here because it's going to compete with the gatehouse. And this is where the, uh, the burrowing worm has been sleeping, so it might make sense... Yeah, maybe one around here? So there's like one either side of its lair, so if it comes out of its lair... We've kind of got something to keep it at bay. Yeah, okay, maybe using this pool of water here and this pool of water here to make these two towers either side of all of this fire. And at the moment, it's still very comfy, sitting in the middle of the other village. It hasn't moved at all. Since I think we can safely say that building some defences for a giant dragony thing are probably quite high priority, I'm just going to get straight on with building at least one tower. I'm going to aim to do two today, but we'll see how uh, we'll see how long it takes me. It's a fairly simple design, so it shouldn't take me too long. So hopefully I'll get both done. Oh, it's that horse. I keep seeing something move. Need to go clear some trees. And that should be that. I'll do this one in the corner first. I think I'll clear both patches, but I'll build here first. Ow! Did not mean to land on my face. Here are the two patches ready to go. Just still waiting for these leaves to clear. I'll start with this one first. I really actually like the location of where this one's going to go. If you're new here, I'll just briefly summarise. The burrowing worm is bad and we do not want it because it eats golds and it sinks villages and it's, it's naughty. Naughty dragon thingy. This one... The Deep Light Serpent, that's kind of chill. He's just fascinated with the lighthouse for a moment. He's been at the bottom of the sea for a very long time. He's having a change of scene. But because it's watery, it's keeping the burrowing worm away because the burrowing worm is very fiery. That's why the hillside is on fire, because that's where it's been nesting. So the aim here is to put up a lot of water towers so that when this thing, this burrowing worm, starts moving around and it wants to hop the river, it will be less tempted to because every time it tries to come near us it will just get flooded and it doesn't like that it probably puts out its fires or maybe it's uncomfortable and hopefully we can just get it to go away ultimately we are hoping to get the amethyst drake to show up which is why there's a load of amethysts all over the mining area on cranes ouch in the hillsides hopefully to attract this much larger dragon which is very docile it won't interact with us at all but it will be territorial and keep the burrowing worm away. But this one just isn't showing up yet. So for now, we've got to try the water towers. Horatio, my magical all-seeing wolf, because of course we all have one of those. That's the top of my head. I found some historical texts in the library that explained that people of the lands that are bad and dry and wild, or whatever it was, so I'm assuming the badlands, the mesa, had ways of dealing with the burrowing worms, and that's what we're doing. We're copying what these peoples of the badlands have done. Oh, I'm sorry, Foxy. 
and build in some towers. But enough waffle, I'll get on and build them. See you when they're done, or at least when this one's done. We'll see you hopefully both. Hopefully both. Okay, so, can you guess? Can you guess? It's quite tricky. Can you guess whose replay footage completely and utterly corrupted beyond any form of use? Yeah, I think you know. I think you know who. The footage was incredibly corrupted, the file was very difficult to even open, let alone use. I did manage to export a part of it, but it was just like, half the blocks were missing and it kept doing like weird twisty spiral things with the footage. No idea what was going on there. But that's why I usually do my time lapses in chunks. You'll see that I'll do the frame and then I'll put like a roof on and then I'll do some outside. It's because if I try and do too big a file or if I have too many files trying to save at the same time, it kind of bundles them all into one giant file that's like eight hours long. I won't even have been playing for eight hours, but it will somehow make an eight hour long file and then it's just unusable and I can't get any of the footage out. I can't even open the file half the time. It's silly. I don't know what the problem is. It's probably just that my computer's not strong enough to do it because it's, it's not. It's not a strong PC. It does what I need for Minecraft, but that's about it. So very occasionally you will see part of a build missing. I think when I did the lighthouse, there was actually part of the framework was missing in the time lapse because the footage corrupted or just disappeared. Sometimes you'll just get a bit of footage disappear as well. No idea where it goes. Very annoying, but it happens. So instead, I'm just going to give you a reveal. I'm gonna fly up to it and then we'll do some replay sweep and then I'll give you a little walkthrough. Yep, just two strange copper towers. These are actually really hard to fly by because they're so tall, I don't know where to look. But best just do some replay sweeps instead. This one on the right was the first one that I built. I need to clear out the river properly. It, it still needs doing anyway, it was always part of the plan, but it will make more sense once this bit's cleared out. Might leave some of the island here, but I think I definitely want to reshape it. And there's the towers. Got the water at the top. There is the, um, the target block there that an archer would hit. It doesn't actually do anything. There's no redstone set up because I think that would be quite hard to hit from over there anyway. Yeah, doesn't do anything. But in terms of story, if you were to hit that block, those trapdoors would open and all the water would come out. And it would come out on all sides, it would just flood the landscape around it. And if any kind of giant danger noodle was sitting around here thinking of hopping over, then he's going to get soggy feet and I don't think he's going to like that. So in terms of mechanism, my thinking, which as I've said before is not very technical, I'm not an engineer at all, is that there is a water wheel which has got the flow of the river turning it, which has been turning this beam which is then somehow forcing the water upwards into the tank. In here, it does actually have um, soul sand, so you can travel upwards in this. Water does technically go upwards, but inside there isn't anything. There's just the beam connecting it to this pillar of trapdoors. I, I couldn't really fit any cogs or anything in here, so I can't make it look like it actually functions, but you're not really meant to come in here anyway, so okay. So the copper wheels turn the beam, which forces water upwards into the tanks, and then the trigger would release the water when needed. And they're really big and sturdy. I mean, to be honest, it doesn't matter if the dragon knocks it over anyway, because then the dragon's still going to get soggy, so it's still win-win. So as sturdy as it is, if it gets knocked over, it gets knocked over. And around the edges, it's quite muddy, because I imagine with the water kind of being moved by the river and also being affected by the wheel a little bit, that it, it maybe would just be quite mushy. There's some kind of thing going on here, as if this is potentially a switch to lock it, maybe, so the beam doesn't turn. Again, I don't quite know how that would work, but we're going to pretend. We're going to pretend that we do. And nobody's out here, there's no hut for anybody to live in, because nobody needs to tend to this, provided the wheel is turning. The whole thing should be functioning. But there are just some fences and a little bit of path, just, you know, if someone comes over to check on it or do some maintenance, it's kind of established, it's not just dumped in the middle of the grass. And aside to the coloration in the copper, I think both builds are identical. It might be ever so slightly different, it might be like one block too short somewhere, but it's fine. I don't mind them being a bit wonky. 
I think in terms of situation, this one's actually my favourite. I feel like it makes more sense in the river, and I quite like the fact that it's set back in these kind of dugout hillside bit. This is quite pretty. And again, mechanism to turn it off, bit of path work if somebody needs access, and then just a tower. There we are, two water towers done. I would like a third one, and I don't know where. I'm thinking maybe about here. Nice, might be nice to have three, kind of in a neat line. Well, a gentle curve, I suppose, rather than a line, but you get what I'm saying. And then if we ever need more, I can continue going that way. I've said before, I'm not really going to clear the river out past this point. We're just going to pretend that ships could theoretically get down there. Unless I decide to build on this bank. Which at the moment I don't have plans to, but given the way this settlement keeps expanding, I can make no promises. Now I'm going to go check in on Horatio, see if he has any more insights or any more wisdom or discoveries. And we'll have a think about where we're going to put his own little place. Because he needs his own little something, his own little den. He is a wolf. He'd have a little den. Where are we going to put it and how are we going to decorate it? Maybe we should just ask him. But first, very important checkup. How is the squad? Good, everybody's still here. The slabs are enough that they're not trying to escape. It's so serene. Anyway, to Horatio. Good morning, Mr Horatio, sir. How are you? No news, no gossip, no discoveries. Okay, fine, you seem pretty chill. And I suppose that's good. You've had no terrifying visions. I mean, that is true, you're not by your pond. Do you need water to be able to see? Oh, well, I'm going to be building you your own little place. So, do you have any preferences? You want a comfortable bed? That's reasonable. And some food, yes. And yes, you need the water for looking. That's it? You're not picky? No design preferences? Just not blue? Okay, fine. Didn't realise you were so averse to blue. Oh, you are. Okay. Then we shall find you somewhere nice, and we shall build you a nice little house. A nice little cave? A den? I'll be back soon, then. Now we just need to find somewhere to put it. Somewhere with a nice view. Somewhere with lots of smells. Doggies like smells. So we can go sniffling. I think it might be better to have him higher up on the hill somewhere, rather than down in the town. If this wasn't a roof with a dead space underneath it, it might be quite nice to put him under the yew tree. That would be kind of pretty. Could always build him another yew tree. Yeah, that might be quite nice. Oh, do I put him in here? I've had this little cave bit sitting around for ages and I said I'd like to do something with it. It can be high up here. He can look out over everything. When the forge is built, it won't be too close. He's by the library. He's by his statues, he'll like that. He can see the lair. Yeah, actually, I really like this. I have to block up the end a little bit. But you can have a lovely little cave home. And I can build another yew tree on top. In which case then, one of my first jobs is that I've got to go get a load of leaves. I ran out of leaves last time. And yes, I can then fix these trees as well. These ones that I missed last week. Yeah, that's a good idea. Then I can finish off this little area. Maybe catch these last few trees down here and make them look pretty. And give Horatio his own little home. I'm not going to sabotage the trees too close to my base because I don't want to be able to see it. But I am surrounded by forests. So it should be very easy to get myself some leaves. I mostly want birch, but I think I'm just going to get a bit of everything. I'm going to get some wood as well. Because unsurprisingly, those towers take a lot of wood. Here will do. I will sabotage this flat bit. On the expanding list of things I could maybe do to make one day, maybe a wood farm. Hello, bee. Ah, there's a hive over there. I like using bees as decorative elements, and there's three of them. I might go get a thing me bob Campfire. Where's it gone? Why have I suddenly gone hive blind? First I was donkey blind, now I'm hive blind. Aha, there it is. I think it's fine to go directly under. It is, isn't it? Yeah, I, just, I don't know, something about that made me think I was going to cook the bees. Anyway, chop the trees. Leaves. I've just got oak and birch for now. A little bit of wood. You actually don't get much wood from chopping trees that way. And I did a little bit of mangrove, but I got bored, so I gave up. Ah, uh, I already had a lot of oak. Now I have a lot more oak. I'm probably just going to have to make this an oak leaf box. Perfect. Um, oh, that's right. Now that's what I wanted. And then that one can just be an oak tree box. So is it spruce that I'm running out of? I thought... No, I'm fine. No, that's fine. I thought I had to... A barrel, but I do. I could maybe do... What is it here? Oh no, I was going to say I could maybe do to get jungle, but I don't use it a lot and I've got tons, so that's fine. Anyway, that's that done. Put these away. Go and build Horatio his little house. 
Got a load of stuff ready. Let's get on with it. Don't think I'm going to change too much outside. I like the idea of keeping it natural, but the inside, we're going to make it lovely. Just came into the library to get Horatio to show him his new base and I couldn't hear the villagers and I wondered if they'd despawned again. No, there's two there. One guy is here and now I'm wondering did the other guys go up the ladder and then fall? Oh look, a bee. That's not at all surprising. Hmm. We humphed in sync. So maybe they're actually going up the ladders. It's a bit of a shame. I'm just going to put those spare ladders in there because I don't need them for anything. Are you having fun? I think there's two of you together in there, but it looks like you're thinking with your hand on your chin. But them going up the ladder would certainly explain where the other two librarians disappeared to. Now, Horatio, are you ready to see your new place? Come on. Good lad. We have to hop across the hills a little bit because I haven't made a path yet because I don't know what's going here. Where am I? I know I'm lost already. There it is. So what do you think? Have a look around. The entrance way is about the same. I've just propped it up with a bit of wood, just in case. There is also a bell. If he notices any kind of danger, he can nose the bell. Does that bother the villagers? I don't know if they're close enough to it. Oh, I hope they don't try to pathfind up here. That'll be really annoying. Oh well. We'll go have a look inside. Yeah, in you go. We've got some more wolves. You can have some friends up here, because there's wolves everywhere all over my base. He doesn't need to be on his own. Names for the wolves are always welcome. Got a black collar, a brown collar, and a red collar. There's an amethyst, because he seems to like them. There seems to be magic about them. A little bit overgrown, so that he's got stuff to snuffle in and dig and sniff and chew. This is kind of like a little a little nest area. It's a bit cosy. There's a mat to lay on. There's blankets hanging on the wall. If he wants to cuddle up in some blankets. Some little bowls kicking around. And it's muddy because, you know, he can dig in it. You're allowed to dig. I don't know what this is. This is like some kind of bench that they can sit on if they want to, with some cushions on top. These are very pampered wolves. Are you having fun over there? He really likes that bit. And we've got some more water here for him to scry into. It's a smaller pool and we'll have to see if it works or if it's only that one pool in the middle of the town that does it. Hi. You sit down a minute. I mean, the other pool is a wishing well. Maybe that's the magic. We shall see. But we are going to have free roaming villagers, and he's going to be surrounded by people, and it'll be noisy, and he won't be able to concentrate. So for now, he's got a quiet spot by the library. It's pretty, and full of sniffly snuffles, and everything he needs. And up above, he's got another yew tree. This one's got some aerial roots and stuff going on. I quite like how, because this is... What biome is this? This is a meadow, allegedly. Whereas this one is in the spruce biome. The leaves are really dark green on this one. But it's really kind of bright green over here. And I quite like the fact the two are different, even though they're the same leaves. They're different between the biomes. This one actually has a tiny bit of the colourful bit just here, and then it blends into the into the spruce. 
I really like when leaves do that. Unless it's jungle trees on the edge of a desert, in which case it looks terrible. But anyway, yes, pretty tree. There's just a little fence for now to keep it safe. There's no pathway connected up yet, because, like I say, I don't really know what's going on with this hillside. There's a flat bit up here. I have a feeling this will end up being dug out and being some kind of cavern. This feels like it would be a nice cavern spot. But I have no set plans. It is what it is for now. This is a good little spot, actually, isn't it? Look, you can see the lair. You can see the deep light serpent. And you can just, you can just see the burrowing worm. It's just spying away back there. Very unsuspicious. You can see the villagers. And I think, yes, he is. Yes, he is. There he is. There's my nitwit. Let's go free him. Thank you. Not the... Back in you go, piggy. If you go straight back in, you're in trouble. Hopefully, we've still got a bit more time before any trouble happens with that uh, burrowing worm. Horatio seems, you know, at ease. He gives a little bit of warning about the deep white serpent. He said that he saw lights in the harbour and lights in the river and... Yeah, a week or two later, it turned up. So hopefully, if there's anything too sinister coming our way, we will get a little bit of warning. Get him comfortable on a mat. There you go. You want to howl at it, don't you? Oh, I did also fix some of the trees down here, but it's not hugely noticeable. They're just a bit, uh, a bit scruffier, just so they match in with the other trees. I don't really think there's anything. Hello. I don't really think there's anything we can do at the moment. And do you mind? I don't really think there's anything we can do at the moment until we know what the burrowing worm is up to. I don't think we can see it from here. It's around there somewhere. But until it either moves on or until it actually starts to be a problem, problem. We can't really do anything, so I think next week, next episode, I'm just going to have to get on with doing normal things. I'm just going to have to do some stuff around the town and act like this isn't a problem at all. Peekaboo. I'm thinking next episode that we maybe do something down here in the town. Maybe start putting something in. I also want to build an iron farm because I am constantly on the brink of running out of iron. I suppose I've actually got quite a lot of iron, but I always want more because the minute you need several hoppers, the whole lot is gone. So it would be interesting to see if I can somehow put the iron farm somewhere in the town? Maybe? It might just be more sensible to put it in with my other farms around this bit. But it would be nice to hide it away in a build here. I shall have a think. I certainly would like to start building something here, next to the very slow walking llama. But next episode will actually be in two, maybe three weeks time. I'm going on a family holiday that's been booked for a very long time and I'm going to very much enjoy it. Yeah, that's about it. I'm going to enjoy some holiday. So hopefully all these big dragons can behave while I'm away. Especially this one. And hopefully when I come back the town will not be in ruins or on fire. That would, that would be grand. So. Once again, thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you again in the next episode, whenever that is, two or three weeks time. Bye bye for now. You're in charge while I'm away. I trust you. You're a good boy.